I weighed 152, I've lost 10 pounds. And that is only by going with apple cider vinegar and lemon juice. And sometimes I'll put that in water or sometimes I'll put, if I have a beer, I'll put a little bit of my, uh, cause I like Angry Orchard apple crisp, I'll put a little bit of that in there or I'll just put some So today is Tuesday. I went to see my cardiologist today and well he's gonna do another echo and he's gonna have me wear a halter so he can see um, how my heart rate and my heart does for a little bit of a time. Um, so, hopefully it can just be managed however way he wants me to do it. He tells me I need to drink more water, but I mean, I drink fluids, I'm on hydration therapy, I don't know what more fluids he wants me to be on, I have no clue. Uh, I was weighed today, I weighed this morning, I have lost since July, I weighed 152, I've lost 10 pounds. And that is only by going with apple cider vinegar and lemon juice. And sometimes I'll put that in water, or sometimes I'll put, if I have a beer, I'll put a little bit of my, uh, cause I like Angry Orchard apple crisp, I'll put a little bit of that in there, or I'll just put, or, green tea and I'll put a little bit of salt in there to get rid of the the um, yeah just the nasty taste anyway um, so and that is weighing this morning and not being off of my IV fluids at all that is with me running IV fluids and an extra bag of fluids so that really can't be an accurate weight um, because I have more water on me. I know I've lost weight. I went around my waist. I've lost three inches. I know that I've lost inches. I can tell it by looking at myself and the way my clothes fit me. So that is a plus. And that could also be part of the reason why my heart rate's gone down, which is a good thing. Um, I'm doing the apple cider vinegar not only for the weight loss but because it has a lot of good benefits and I'm seeing the benefits and so since I like what I see I'm gonna keep doing it I am doing something extra I figured what the hell you know I'm not losing any I'm not gonna lose anything I can only gain so it doesn't cost much and um, what I'm doing is I've made this up for two days and I've been drinking it and it, it seems to work and I don't know if it's just the apple cider vinegar or if this is both of them together but I'm gonna tell you what I what I've added to this little um, thing that I am doing um, I am also putting in I'm doing for a couple of days but I drink it more than I actually I drink more than the actual two days I'm not really getting two days I need to fix more today what I am doing is I'm making 480 um, milliliters which would be 16 ounces and of water I'm boiling it and I'm adding two tablespoons of cinnamon and letting that boil. Then I'm letting it cool off. Well, no, it's two teaspoons. Well, I'm actually adding more than that of the cinnamon. Um, but this is just what the uh, recipe that I got, I've just added more. Um, because cinnamon curbs your appetite. 
So, I'm putting yeah, two tablespoons of cinnamon in it and letting it boil. Then you let it cool off and you gotta let it cool off. And then you add, because I'm doing two, because otherwise it's 240 and that's eight ounces. Um, and you cut it in half. But then you do, and it has to be raw honey, um, which is more expensive than the other, just like the organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. Um, then I put two tablespoons of honey in this mixture once it cools off. And what I do is, well, I emptied out a water bottle and poured it down that. And I drink it. I drink it throughout the day. My waist, I'm embarrassed to say this because I didn't let myself go. I had no choice in the matter. And it has to do, well, with my Crohn's disease, my gastroparesis, the medications that I'm on. Um, my waist had got up to a 38. It is now down to a 35. Well, I'm used to my waist being a 24 or a 25 wearing a 0. And so, to me, going from a 38 to a 35 is a big leap. And it, to me, right now, is a big deal. I'm going from, I went down from a 12 to a 10. And I always wear my clothes a little bit big anyway because I have an ostomy. And I also have a gastric stimulator. So, I don't want my clothes to fit snug. I need to allow room for it anyway. But I went from a 14 to a 12 and down to a 10. So, I'm feeling good about what's happening. And since my weight's going down, my, um, my actual blood sugar has dropped. Um, it was high. My cholesterol has dropped, and now my heart rate is dropping. Now, mind you, I was at the doctor's office. I wasn't doing anything. I was cool, calm, and collect. And so, it was at 100, which is still high. Your heart rate should only be, you know, 68 to 72, maybe at the highest, 80. And mine at resting at 99, 109, 112, 130. That's not good. But it's doing better. So, you know, I am a skeptic. A very big skeptic. I don't, I don't try things. I, I just don't. And, you know, I, I finally tried the mineral oils. I, and I hopped on the bandwagon with the, apple cider vinegar and you hear that it's going to storm and it would when I need to go out and get steaks for my tomatoes <sighs> anyway I'm still gonna go out and get them because these things are gonna be blown over if I don't um, so the apple cider vinegar you get used to it my my word of advice, drink it through a straw because it throws it further back into your throat so you don't ruin your teeth. Um, but uh, the mineral oils I put in a diffuser. When my granddaughter's here, I use eucalyptus. Uh, she has allergies and it seems to help open her up. And it helps my husband too. I use peppermint a lot. Peppermint, I even put in baking soda and I mix it all together and make sure it's dry. Then I sprinkle it onto my carpet. I've even put it on my um, bed. The reason? It kills dust mites. Dust mites hate it. Um, and I put peppermint in the air through my diffusers and it helps with the allergies. And my husband has really bad allergies and so does my granddaughter. So, my husband can tell when I have not ran the diffusers, because it does make a big difference, and 
I'm not a big, like I said, I'm, I don't hop on the bandwagon. And I was just like, well, you know, what do I have to lose if I don't try these? I mean, you know, they apple cider vinegar that people tell you to use is Bragg's. Okay? Well, this bottle is not very big. And it's like almost $6 for it. Kroger has their brand. It's organic. And it's two something. So, it's a lot cheaper. It's the same thing. Um, my organic raw honey. I got it at Sam's. It's a pretty good size bottle. I got it because of my granddaughter and my husband for their allergies. My little granddaughter loves it. Um, so that was expensive. It was, I think, eight dollars maybe. I don't know. But it doesn't take a lot of honey. And honey, I don't is supposed to help too. It's also a sweetener that doesn't have any calories, so you don't have to use sugar. And so, you know, the health benefits outweigh the bad. When my stomach's not working, it is hell on me. There have been days I have skipped and it has been because my my stomach's not working. I don't feel good, and putting this on my stomach just makes it worse. It doesn't matter. I can take Finnegan right away. Um, I I I can take Zofran, and now remember when I take Finnegan and Zofran, it's IV and it goes straight through my port, but with the IV push to get rid of that nausea, but Sometimes that don't even help, so I just don't even deal with it. But anyway, um, it's working. And if it's working, then why not keep it up? So, I don't know about the, you know, the weight loss, 30 pounds in one month. You know, maybe if you are a bigger person, maybe that will happen. I seen somebody on YouTube that seemed more surreal to me. She lost 60 pounds, I think, in a year. That sounds a little bit more surreal to me. But then I think about it because I was on Saxenda and in one month I lost over 25 pounds. But I was also going to the gym. I am going to go start going back to the gym because it seems like the cardiologist thinks I'm okay to go to the gym now so I will go back and do my cardio when I go I do wear my backpack and I do have my fluids unfortunately I don't sweat so that makes it hard on me and that's another reason why I have my fluids on me when I go I also have an ice cold towel that I keep around my neck people stare at me but you know what I don't care. And the reason why, they don't know what's going on with me. And quite frankly, it's none of their business. I'll tell them if they want to know. It doesn't bother me. But this is my body. And this is how I have to exercise. And that's how I have to do it. Um, I can't enjoy going anywhere without my fluids um, I wondered how I was going to make it through the zoo fortunately we went on a day that was really nice um, it wasn't it was cloudy it looked like it was going to rain but it didn't um, it was in the 80s and I was able to do it, but I, like I said, I had my IV fluids running, so it made it a whole lot easier. And I was very proud of myself because I was able to do it. Um, the last time we went to Cedar Point, only lasted two hours. I was exhausted, and I just couldn't do it. 
And I, I think, too, that part of it was I was in the hospital every three months, and I had just gotten out of the hospital. Um, we went to Kentucky Kingdom. We had Kentucky Kingdom passes we got in because, you know, we're right here. It was $60 a piece, and that's just something we can just go do whenever we had nothing else to do. And that was like my third or fourth time at Kentucky Kingdom. But we didn't run around the whole park when I went with my girlfriend. When I went with my husband, we did the whole park. And um, I, the sun was beating down on me, and I just couldn't make it. I thought I was ready to crawl. And my husband couldn't understand what was going on with me. I don't think that he still understands um, why I have to have IV fluids. Um, oral fluids just, it, it doesn't, it, oral fluids don't hydrate me the way they hydrate somebody else. My body doesn't absorb it. IV fluids go through my cells and get distributed through my organs. Uh, my organs in my body are one by one going bad. And trust me, my cardiologist is the first person to remind me that my body and my organs is what's making my heart work harder. And, you know, that's just not something everybody wants to hear, but he's just one of those people that's up front and tells you like it is. So, you know, somebody with Crohn's disease and gastroparesis and everything else that I've got has not a very long life expectancy. Um... You know, they accidentally found colon cancer, but I was high risk anyway with my family and with having Crohn's disease. So, you know, I, we got all that out. And, you know, my doctor told me. And, you know, I, they lost me and I lost eight units of blood and they brought me back and I am here. I'm a fighter. But that time I really thought I was going to die. I asked for the chaplain. It was one thing after another and I really thought that was it. But I'm a warrior, and I have the scars to prove it. My stimulator. It has been giving me fits. Today, I have had three really, really sharp pains where my stimulator is. And, well, I don't know. I... If it continues, I will get in to see at the motility clinic. Um, I have not called the insurance company. It's something that just slips my mind. I don't think about it when I get up. And I honestly, I, I don't even know if, because my insurance has given me such a fit over, over wanting to pay for the interrogation that I need for my port, I mean, for my stimulator to be checked for the battery and whether it needs to be moved up more or what needs to be done. I just don't know if it, at this point if it's even worth having. Um, I stay in a cone flare all the time. My stomach doesn't work still half the time, so I I don't I don't know if it's even worth me having anymore. I'm just I'm wondering now because it's just driving me nuts if I just say you know just take the damn thing out. I I don't know. I'm I'm still thinking about that. Um, 
I mean, you know. And my stomach didn't work for two days. And I was bloated beyond a belief. I felt constipated. I am still bloated now. Um, that reminds me, I'm going to go take a Zyfaxin and I'm going to call and see if I can get another one refilled. This medication for 10 day supply, which is 20 pills, is over $16,000. And yeah, my insurance company, I don't know if they're going to pay for another one or not. So I am going to call the call Walgreens and see how them fill it and see if the insurance company will pay for it or not. But I need another refill. Um, I don't like taking them. I take them PRN um, because really it's for somebody that has IBS. So they put that in my chart so that my insurance would pay for it. Um, they've given it to me for the bloating. It works great. But I also found something else that works great and that is, oh shit, what's that one? I can't think of the name of it, but it's the most expensive over-the-counter one. So, I mean, I just, I, I'm miserable with this thing and without it. So, I don't think that at this point, with me having complications, that it's even worth it. So, I don't know. Well, I'm going to get off here because my tomato plants are full. I need to put more more soil in these things I need to get more I mean these things are just driving me absolutely batty I need to get I need to get more steaks and so I'm gonna go you guys have a good night I'll see you tomorrow